Now, if I say something like, well, that's a really bad word, but anyway. If I say something like 45 divided by 15, because we did this just now, right? Think before, we were, we were talking in words, right? How would you phrase what this is actually calculating? What, what would you say? Ethan, yeah. Um, three divided by one. Okay, so you're, you're going straight to the numerical, like the simplified answer. It is three divided by one. But like one of the verbs, remember I said like um, a half times four right, is half of four. Yeah, so what words could I use? Yeah, tonight? 45 is 15. Okay, I could say 45. I'm going to break it into 15. I could do that. I could also say... 45. How many how many fifteens? And this is the way I'd love you to write it down. How many fifteens? Um, how many fifteens are there, or how many fifteens fit in forty five? Okay. So in other words, we're like let's let's chunk it up, and sure enough, you get three chunks each of this size. That's how many you can get in there. Okay. So now, if I pose the question. 4 divided by a half. So I'm doing some division. Now I've got some fractions involved. According to this pattern that we've noticed, this, this verbalization, right? What this really means is how many halves are there? How many halves are there in 4? Now we can draw this, okay? And I'd love you to draw it with me. Let's draw 4, right? So I've got 1, 2, 3, 4. There's 4, okay? And I want to see how many halves there are, okay? Well, I'll go divide that in half, divide that in half, divide that in half, divide that in half. Eight. And I've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, right? So this is eight. Okay. In exactly the same way, I could say four divided by a third, right? That would be how many thirds are there in four? Now, I'm going to do this one across here. You'll see why in a second. Okay, here's my four. I'll divide each one into a third, thirds, I should say, okay? And then you count them out. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. 10, 11, 12. Now you should notice this eight and 12, this looks a bit suspicious, right? 12 is exactly the same as four times three, right? And eight is exactly the same as four times two. Right, so do you remember what we were saying about reciprocals, right? When you divide by a number, dividing by a number is exactly the same as multiplying oh. by its reciprocal. In fact, Manal pointed this out just earlier. Four times a half, that's a half of four, right? That's the same as dividing by the reciprocal. These guys are reciprocals of each other, right? That's such an important idea. Let's write it down, right? Dividing by a number Dividing by a number is exactly the same, is the same as multiplying by the reciprocal of that. Okay? So instead of saying, ooh, what how many halves there are in four? Let's let's draw it and divide it up. I can go straight to saying that four divided by a half is four multiplied by the reciprocal of half, that's two. Straight go to eight, right? Four divided by a third is four multiplied by the reciprocal of a third, which is three. So four by three, go straight to 12, okay? Now this is really useful when we have, sort of, these are really easy fractions to work with. How about four divided by two thirds? My brain doesn't think in, how many two thirds can I fit into four? It doesn't think of that naturally. Right? Now I can't count it out, but let's try and use this technique. Right? Dividing by a number is the same as multiplying by the reciprocal of that number. So the reciprocal of two thirds is, right? Three over two. Three over two? Good. Okay. So now I just do multiplication like I did before, right? Um, this is actually four over one. So it's twelve over two, which we can simplify again. Oh, other way around, because the, the big number's on the top, right? So it's 6 over 1, which is just 6, okay? Now we can confirm that. Look, I already divided my 4 into thirds, right? There's 2 thirds. There's another 2 thirds. 
another one, another one, another one, another one, right? One, two, three, four, five, six. How many two-thirds are there in four? Answer, six of them, which our division, our flipping around using reciprocals um, demonstrated, okay?